logs 100,000 miles a year in his big rig, hauling cargo across New England. Landscaping products, bark, mulch, wood chips. He's been driving a semi for 30 years, but now his load is more than he can bear. And it was like, wow, really? You know, a, a transplant? And um, it just didn't seem possible. Mark's kidneys have failed. The 55-year-old from Sandown suffers from end-stage kidney disease and is desperate for a transplant. The wait list for a deceased donor is five to seven years. Mark turned to plan B, a living donor. You never know what could be thrown at you in life. That, uh, but right now, I know I'm good, good to go. If I had a, you know, a willing donor, a healthy donor. Finding a match is like finding a needle in a haystack. So Mark and his wife, Tammy, cast a wide net. She threw the idea at me, and I said, geez, I don't, I don't know if the boss will go for it. I mean, and, and I hemmed and hawed. He eventually agreed and turned his tractor trailer into a moving billboard, a megaphone on 18 wheels, spreading the word, Mark needs a kidney. Would you share your spare? Oh, I get, yeah, I get people go thumbs up, you know. People are responding with more than a honk and a wave. Calls are coming in from strangers. Liz Bangs of Hudson was driving up I-93 when she saw the rolling ad. I actually thought it was a missing persons ad at first. When I first glanced by it, I was like, oh my gosh. When she drove closer, Mark's need became clear. So did her desire to alter his course. It actually hit me pretty hard when I saw it. It was kind of, I knew a little boy that needed to get a liver transplant. So seeing that someone needed a kidney was like kind of hit me close to home. No hesitation, despite never having met Mark, Liz was touched by his raw honesty. It was definitely a cry for help is what it looked like to me. As Liz and other potential donors work through a battery of tests, Mark holds his breath. Grateful fellow travelers sense his distress. It's heartwarming, I mean, for someone to take the time even to consider helping somebody they don't even know and find out the story. Uh, it's a lot to ask of somebody. It is. It's a big know? ask. I know, I know. Mark's own wife and kids are unable to donate. Since kidney disease runs in the family, his children are out. It's tough just because you feel like you're, you're the closest person that could help, and being told that you can't, you just try to find a way to help in different ways. Tim Boomhauer and his sister Amanda are using their own megaphones, decked out in message t-shirts, and they've adorned their cars with decals, anything to find their dad's champion. Be a hero like that to somebody to give him years, give us years with him. Um, I just think that would be a beautiful thing. Tammy Boomhauer was heartbroken when she learned she couldn't donate to her husband. We don't match, we're not the same blood type, so I was gonna do a paired donation, but then they found something wrong with my kidneys. Paired donation is a little known kidney exchange program designed to speed up the waiting period. It's essentially a kidney swap. That's how Tammy's cousin, Jill Flanders of Ware, got her kidney two years ago. Her husband, John, was a willing donor, but he wasn't a match. It assumes that somewhere out there in the community, there's another pair that want to donate, and they're not compatible to each other. But it just happens through the computer matching, they've identified that that donor would actually fit Jill, and my kidney would actually fit that person. Jill waited just three months, her transplant a success. John's operation, textbook. I feel oh, amazing, yeah. yeah. You know, it's yeah. certainly a relief. Whether you're a match no longer matters. What's needed are willing, healthy donors. And I have two superheroes. <laughs> they should both be given a cape, but they weren't. <laughs> Mark is now looking for his superhero. I don't want to lose him. Uh, it's sad seeing him lie on the couch looking horrible, not even being able to move. He was forced to start dialysis, 
a new bedtime routine until he gets a kidney. Once I plug in, I'm tethered to that machine for 21 feet. I can roam it's seven hours before my therapy's done. Mark and Tammy remain optimistic, encouraged by the outpouring of support. Hopeful they cross paths with an angel somewhere out there on the road.